Hello everyone and welcome to part 19 of our Python 3 basics tutorial series. In this video what we're going to be talking about is import syntax. So in the last video we imported statistics and we did various things with statistics but we found this was almost somewhat cumbersome because of the word statistics and the various things that we were importing from it, typing out like variance for example, statistics.variance was very long. So this video is going to be dedicated to import syntax what we can do to make importing easier, to do some shorthand, and also not necessarily import everything from a module if you don't need it. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So if you recall, the basic way to import something is just import statistics, and then we had an example list, and I'll just make a long list. If you still have yours, you could just use the same one as you had before. Okay. And then we did, like, for example, to get the mean, we did print statistics.mean example list, like that. So we could save and run that, and that gives us the mean. But a lot of things that we can do actually here. First of all, we can make statistics a little bit shorter, so we can kind of shorthand this by doing the following. So we can import statistics as s. So now every time we want to reference statistics, we just actually have to type S instead of the full statistics. So we can change this to S. So now we save and run that, and we see we get the exact same output. So we're able to use as to re kind of rename statistics. Now the next thing that we can do is, for example, let's say the only thing we want from statistics is to perform the mean operations, or mean operations. So instead what we could do is we could say, Let's comment this out and we'll comment this out. And now we'll say from statistics import mean. Now what this is going to do is it's going to import the mean function and the mean function only from statistics. So now we can do the following. We can say print mean list. And now we save and run that and we see again the same output. And now, as you can see, we didn't have to do anything dot mean. We just had to do mean because all we've done here, basically this makes it act like as if we had created the mean function, you know, in, in this, this script. Obviously, we didn't, but that's basically what it does for you. Now, next, what if you're super lazy and you just still don't want to type mean? Yeah, I realize it's only four letters, but what if you really don't? Well, we can do import mean as m. So we can come down here and instead of mean we can use m. We can save and run that and again the same output. Now what if you want not everything but maybe you want two modules. So mean as m uh, we'll get to do this and we'll just import mean and let's do standard deviation. So from statistics we're importing the mean function and the standard deviation function. So here again we'll do print mean example list and then we'll also do print stdev example list save and run that and we see that we're able to get them both as well. From there the next question is well I I want to not have to you know type all these out I want to use the as so maybe you want to do mean as m and then standard deviation as s like that. We can come down here, M, and here, S, save and run that, and sure enough we have the exact same output. So now M and S, and we've only imported the two functions rather than everything. Now that's all fine, but what if instead of, like let's say we want everything from statistics, so we want the same thing as import statistics, but we don't want to type statistics. What can we do there? Well, what we can do is let's comment this out and let's say from statistics import asterisk. And what this asterisk is going to stand for or stands for is literally everything. And what this does for us is it's as if we said from statistics import mean, median, mode, standard dev, and so on. And instead, we just have to do this, 
Okay, and that means it's importing all of the functions, but again, we don't have to type statistics dot, we just type the function. So we can do mean and standard deve like that, save and run it, and again, we have the exact same output. So that's the basics of import syntax. So again, we can just import the module, which is import statistics. And what that's going to make us do is to reference any function in there, we have to do statistics dot that function's name. We can also do from statistics import one of the functions or many of the functions. We can also do import statistics as a letter, like import statistics as s, and then we can reference all of the functions within statistics, And but what we have to do is s dot the function name. We can also do from statistics import function name as a letter, so that's what this was right here, so from statistics import mean as m, and we can continuously list these out and do like mean as m, standard eve as s, co you know, variance as v, and so on. We can finally do from statistics import everything. That way we don't have to hand type out all of the functions, but we forfeit the ability to do as and, you know, a letter or whatever. So that's going to conclude the import syntax and chapter 19. In chapter 20, what we're going to be covering is modules, how to create your own modules. So hopefully you can better understand what modules are and how simple they really are. Some people I think overcomplicate modules and they don't need to be overcomplicated. So that's what we'll be covering in the next video. As always, thank you for watching.